So if I want to buy a fast processor, I should look for the clock speeds, right? Wrong. We'll discuss why we cannot rely entirely on clock speeds of the CPU. Let's begin. So clock speed can increase or decrease the performance of the CPU but we should not buy a CPU just because it has got a better clock speed than the other. Let's first understand what exactly clock speed is. So when we give an instruction to the CPU it cannot operate alone. It needs other components to work with it. For that a clock is equipped which synchronizes all the components of the system and at a clock pulse all those components work together. So the clock gives a time where the components of the system work. Clock speed is the amount of data that you can process in a given period of time. So that means that you get a better performance, right? Now here comes a term which is called instructions per cycle. There are few instructions which need more than one clock cycle to actually execute. And there are instructions which can be executed several times within a clock cycle. Now to understand if your processor is better than the other processor, you'll have to find out the number of instructions that it can handle. So if a processor can execute more instructions per cycle, it will be more efficient and it will generate less heat. So let's take an example here. We have AMD FX8350 on one hand and i7-6700K on the other hand. Now these processors cannot be compared really. They have the same clock speed but they have different cores, they have different cache memory, they handle different RAM. So now the conclusion time. While buying a CPU we can look at the clock speed but we should not buy a CPU just because it has got a better clock speed than the other. It is a marketing strategy from manufacturers to sell their product. Just like 64-bit processors and to watch that video click here. We should look at the instructions per cycle for that very CPU. So if you are planning to buy a new CPU with a high clock speed, I have a list. Check the links in the video description. Thanks for watching the video guys. Hit that like button. If you like the video, leave a comment below for new ideas. And make sure that you subscribe to our channel and share our videos.